This has been a very, very long awaited and overdue video. This video is going to show you how to flash your Galaxy Nexus back to stock. Now this will work with pretty much every single variant of the Galaxy Nexus. And honestly, if you have not donated to Imskip, you need to, because if you don't, you're going to get updates last. You are not going to get them first. Everybody like me will have them way before you ever get them. He updates like uh, incremental updates, just tiny little updates here and there. And I can tell you that before doing this video, I had updates and I was able to install them. After pressing yes, it'll be presented with the screen that says if there is an update available or not. I typed yes. It installed an update, and then I relaunched the program, typed yes again, and then it installed the very final update. Which you go to the thread that I'll link to in the description, and that's not there. After a few small builds, he does eventually release a full update to the toolkit, but again, you have to wait for that to happen. If you're like me and you've donated, you get this right here, and it's the full version. So it's pretty freaking awesome, and you have the very latest and greatest stuff. So in this video, uh, let's go ahead and turn the camera on too. All right, so now we have our camera on and we have the 4.2 ROM on our CDMA LTE Sprint. So since we don't have the model listed or the the build of listed, we're gonna go ahead and just choose option 20 because it's the latest and greatest one. Now we are going to flash this thing completely stock. So in this mode, we need to actually, we need to be in fast boot it says. Fast boot. I'm assuming the toolkit now does this for you, so let's go ahead and just choose option 9. Download. And we need to choose the factory available ones, so we'll do number 17. Obviously, I have a sprint one, so that's why I'm choosing 17. If you have the GSM model, you'll choose 9 through 12 or 1 through 8. You get the picture, hopefully. So let's go ahead and choose option 17. And then it's going to be in this folder right here. And now it's downloading. As you can tell, we are not running stock on our Galaxy Nexus. We have the CM 10.1 unofficial build. All right, so uh, did the power of editing. You didn't have to wait that long. It is now ready to be flashing. It must be in fast boot mode. Do you want to flash the image now? Um, it needs to be in fast boot, and the toolkit will do that for you, but. Um, is your device in fast boot mode? Type yes to start the procedure. Type no to reboot to fast boot. Sweet. So the toolkit does do this for us. Just type no. And it says it's waiting for ADB. The phone should reboot into fast boot. That's what it was. We need to enable USB debugging. It's a little bit different and I'm not very used to Android 4.2. Hopefully you're able to see that all I had to do was enable USB debugging. Format user data before flashing new user image. Cool. So obviously, as you can tell, you get the choice on whether you wanted to reset your phone or not. So um, do we want to format user data? Uh, let's just type no. This toolkit is simply amazing, like absolutely amazing. All of this stuff, like you don't have to know how to do this. You've just got to know whether to type yes or no and follow the on-screen instructions. There's nothing hard about it at all. Imskip has made this a totally easy process. And I am getting the Nexus 7, and I am getting the Nexus 10. So I will have videos on how to use this toolkit on those devices as well. I've got to wait for tax time, because I don't have $600 for the 32 gig Nexus 10, and I want to get a 32 gig Nexus 7 as well, because they do have uh, Ubuntu, like full-blown Ubuntu like on your computer for the Nexus 7. So 
uh, Zetamax is a video on that and I'll try to link to it in the description. You can check it out and I'll be making my own video if I am able to get an Nexus 7 here soon. This process does take a while so please keep in mind that hopefully you saw the time before I went into fast boot and you'll be able to see how long it took when it finally gets back to the system. So we're going from Android 4.2.1 which is CM 10.1 and now we're going to have Android 4.1.1 you know, straight from Sprint. Alrighty, looks like we've made a little bit more progress. This is insane. Again, man, he just makes this so easy. I swear to you, Imskip is one of those people that just like is invaluable and cannot be replaced. Device will reboot into Android for setup. If you're flashing a factory around for warranty purposes, don't forget to run the toolkit again, reboot to fast boot mode, and relock your bootloader. Looks like the phone is rebooting, and then this is a stock freaking image from Sprint. There's no root, there's nothing at all on there. Now, if you typed yes on the part where you like format the user data, then uh, that's gonna be your best option if you're returning it to Sprint. Also, if you have like a Titania backup folder in there, then they're gonna know that you did it. <laughs> so that's why I go ahead and just do that. Now, here's where it was talking about. We're gonna press option three, press enter, and then we're going to relock the bootloader, press option two, and then type yes to start the procedure. Like earlier, if you're not in fast boot and you're in Android like we are right now, you will type in no and then it'll reboot, it'll go to fast boot and it'll lock your bootloader. And keep in mind that when you do that and then you go to unlock it again, you do lose everything. So just know that I'm not trying to make anybody go, oh, I lost all my data and you didn't tell me. No, I'm trying to make it very clear that by locking, you don't lose your data. By unlocking again later on, you do lose everything. So, I'm going to go ahead and exit the toolkit. Again, if you have not donated, I highly recommend doing it. You will have the very latest version of the toolkit. If Sprint updates this to Android 4.2, this toolkit will support rooting Android 4.2. Not at the moment because of course it's not released. And if you've donated, when he updates it to support Android 4.2, you will be the very first person able to root your phone on Android 4.2. Just like if you donated, you were the very first person able to be able to root your Galaxy Nexus on Android 4.1. So just please press option 29. It'll open up Internet Exploder and it'll take you to the donate page and you'll get a little code that you enter in and actually it updated, it launched Firefox. Awesome. I'll show you the little thing real quick. There you go. Donation amount is in GBP. That's the window it opens up. So if you want to have all the latest and greatest features before anybody else, make sure you donate. If you want to support this developer and all of his hard work, make sure you donate. If you want to help me out, it's so easy. Give this video a thumbs up, please and thank you. I really appreciate it when you do that. Just click the like button. And if you're new to my channel and this is one of the very first videos you've watched of mine, please click the subscribe button below. It'll notify you when I post new videos. And I'll have several more of these Galaxy Nexus videos coming in the near future. Trust me, those aren't going to stop. I'm not getting rid of the device. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how to enable developer options on Android 4.2 real quick. So this is my Transformer Prime. Sorry about the terrible audio. This is coming directly from the camera. We'll go to settings. And then, uh, first of all, when you open up Titania Backup, you'll notice that you get that the stupid, annoying thing that's letting you know that you need to enable, uh, no, not reboot the device, that you need to enable USB debugging. Right there. So, <laughs> you're like, okay, cool, I know how to do this. We'll go down to the settings, and then we'll go down to, uh, whoa, wait, 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 where's it at? There's no developer options. Go to about tablet or phone if you're using a phone and then go down here to build number. It says you are now three steps away from being a developer. Two steps away, one step away, 
bam, you're a developer, and guess what? There's developer options, and you can enable USB debugging and other neat features that only advanced people should be having access to. So that's how you do that, and I don't know a way to hide it. If you do know, let me know, but I Googled it, and I can't figure out how to hide it. Not that you really have to, but maybe if you're giving this to somebody else, the only thing I can think of is reinstalling the ROM or doing a factory reset. That would hide it, and then the person that gets it will have no clue that all these options are here. Now i got to figure out why this phone isn't all the way booting up. All right, so the phone is not booted up. It's just been sitting at this screen for a while now. And earlier, if you saw in the video, I chose no for the user data reset. So I'm going to go ahead and say make sure you do yes. Uh, let me go ahead and show you how to do this where, like, you manually go in there yourself and you... You could also use the toolkit and go into fast boot, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do it manually as well. So you uh, take this and you pull the battery out. And then you put it in and we're gonna put this on there as well. And then what we're gonna do is hold down these two buttons, volume down and volume up, and we're gonna hold power at the same time. The device just vibrated and now we need to go here and press volume up, up, and there's recovery mode, so press power. This is also gonna show you that we are indeed, you know, 100% stock, but we still have an unlocked bootloader, which I just showed you how to lock it if you really were so inclined to do so. So there's the little robot guy letting you know you're in stock recovery. A lot of times you gotta press like certain buttons or something to get it to show the options. Why won't you show me options? Oh, okay, so volume down, volume up, power, press it for just a second to let go. So first we're going to do the wipe cache partition, and then we're going to let it do its thing. And then we're going to go down to wipe factory reset. But this one I believe is going to make you go all the way down to yes. Go all the way down to yes. And when it's highlighted, press the power button and give it a minute. This will take a minute to complete. I'm so sick of thinking I'm recording with my Zoom and I'm not. So that all that was directly from the Canon 60D's built-in microphone, which did not sound as good as this is right now. <sighs> I keep forgetting to freaking do that. So once this is done doing the factory reset, we should be able to reboot this phone into Android, and we shouldn't stare at the X forever and ever and ever until the battery dies. All this could have been resolved if I had just pressed yes. <laughs> Oh, I believe this is going to erase the internal. It's going to erase everything, which is pretty cool. You can actually use an OTG adapter and you can put your ROM on a flash drive and then install it. Uh, I will put a link in the description to a video of me installing AOKP Jelly Bean, which I just used a flash drive. So I didn't have to put the ROM on the uh, internal memory on the Galaxy Nexus, because as you know, the Galaxy Nexus does not have a removable SD card. So you have to store everything on the actual device itself on the internal memory. Uh, if you have a OTG adapter, that's not the case. You can easily just put your ROM on that Put your Google add-ons on that, flash both of them, and when it's done, take your uh, thumb drive, unplug it, reboot the device, you're good to go. All right, so it's done. We can just pretty much choose the first option, press power, and it should reboot us into Android 4.1.1. If this toolkit happens to get updated and support Android 4.2 whenever Sprint releases it for the Galaxy Nexus, then you'll obviously boot into Android 4.2. Yay, we are now in Android. Gonna go ahead and skip all this for now. Not now. Yes. He's done. Finish. There you go, Android 411. As you can clearly tell right there.
build number FHO5, and it, of course, updated the radios. It's a stock TAR, so it updated every little thing. The radio, the LTE, every everything. I mean, it's 100% official nothing custom about it you can take it to sprint as long as you lock the boot order they never know you touched it because now the storage is wiped and everything is 100 percent stock sorry this video carried on longer than i wanted it to honestly if i had just freaking pressed yes instead of no i probably wouldn't have had to do all this but just in case you're stuck in the position i was in where it's not booting up this is how you fix it if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you're new to my channel please subscribe this is what would josh do and now i'm out